In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a breaking news bot that either gets the Google news results for a specific search query or live updates from an RSS feed. You can build this bot in two ways using two different sources. It's super simple to set up. Let me show you how to do it. First off, you're gonna head on over to youraiagent.com. If you don't have an account already, enter your full name and email address, password, and then click sign up. We see that the hourly news agent currently connects to two different platforms. You can create a breaking news bot either on LinkedIn or on Twitter. So from the settings page, we're gonna to need to connect one of those two accounts. I'll go through the LinkedIn connection first because it's super simple. You're gonna click on this tab, then name your integration. I'm gonna call it West Frank LinkedIn, then click connect. It will take you to a LinkedIn OAuth page and you're gonna simply sign in. So enter your LinkedIn email address, password, click sign in. If the connection goes through okay, it's gonna bring you back to this tab and you'll see that connection in the list down here. For Twitter, it's a bit more complicated. So let me walk you through the steps. Click on this tab. We're gonna name our integration again. So let's go at Wes Frank Twitter. Now we have to click on the developer portal. From your main project, scroll down and click add app. Now to keep things organized, I'm gonna name it the exact same thing as my Your AI Agent connection. So at West Frank Twitter, let's click next. Then we wanna click app settings and then user authentication settings, click setup. For the app permissions, you need to select read and write and direct message. For the type of app, select native app. And then now for the callback URI and website URL, you can go back to settings and then copy this URL. It's just this page in the app. So youraiagent.com slash settings. We're gonna copy that, paste it in here. What it's basically doing is after you sign into Twitter, it's taking you back to the Your AI Agent page and then I get your access code. I store it in the back end so that you can make calls to Twitter under the connected profile. Website URL is not a big deal either. We can paste the same thing in. Now let's click save. And then yes, right here, it's gonna open up a client ID. We need this string of letters and numbers. So copy that, paste it in here, click connect. It will take you to that Twitter OAuth page where you're gonna click authorize app. And if everything worked out okay, you'll get a notification that says your X account has been connected. So I can click okay. And now we see my two connections down here, one for LinkedIn, one for Twitter. Just a quick note about Twitter. They are not developer friendly. So a lot of the things we're doing here, like automatically replying to tweets, making a breaking news bot, an auto Twitter poster, eventually a social listening tool, all of these are pretty restrictive with the current tier packages. So if I go to products and then X API version two, we have set up a free account and that only gives us 500 posts per month which means if you build this breaking news bot, it can post 500 times each month. You can see from these alternate packages, the basic plan, super expensive, and it doesn't show it here, but it's actually only 30,000 posts per month, still not a lot. And then the giant leap to pro, which is $5,000 per month, where you can retrieve and post up to 1 million times. As far as I'm aware, we're the only web app that's doing this right now, which makes me believe that no one is actually paying for this pro subscription. I wish there was something in between. Your AI agent's current usage is somewhere in the middle here, but for now we need to connect via a free tiered app. So a workaround is create multiple dummy X accounts. And for each of those accounts, sign up to the X developer portal, create a brand new project and app, Let's say this one was sports breaking news. I'd make that connection within your AI agent, connect my main Twitter profile, and then start one agent per app. An app connection is different than the profile that you sign in with. So you can create 10 different free tier apps, but log into each of those apps with your main Twitter posting profile. If you're confused about anything I said here, you can contact me via support at any time and I'll help explain it better. Okay, let's continue. On the home page, we are going to click an agent to run. There's currently 16 agents to choose from, a few that work with Twitter accounts and some that work with LinkedIn. 
For the breaking news bot, let's click hourly news. And I'm going to go through two use cases. First, let's read what this is about. The hourly news agent automatically posts news updates at your chosen interval by summarizing the title and description slash details of news articles. It combines this information with your agent prompt to create clear, engaging content tailored to your preferences. Whether using Google News search results or RSS feed items, the agent ensures timely and accurate news delivery to your platform. I'm going to go through two use cases one Google News and one RSS feed. For the first one, let's post to Twitter. So I'm selecting my Twitter account up here. And depending on the source you choose, either Google News or RSS feed, your breaking news bot is going to work differently. Let me show you the differences. If you select Google News, you're gonna enter a search query. Think about this as the keyword or key phrase that you'd search on Google to get the latest news. For example, I'm gonna write stock market. In the back end, we're taking that search query and we're grabbing the latest Google News results. Now it's completely out of our control, but you can see this result was posted two days ago. Google News is not great at updating their search results very quickly. Sometimes it updates pretty quickly, like this post from CNBC, but other times it takes a while, like this post from Bloomberg.com. So what this agent is doing is grabbing all the search results storing them in a database. So we're taking all of these results and then we drip them out at your chosen interval. If your chosen interval was every hour, at the start of the day, we would grab 24 news articles and then release them one by one each hour. RSS feeds work differently. They are much faster to update. And if you can find a good RSS feed, you can grab the content as it comes in. So if I go to rssfinder.app, this is just an option if you can't find RSS feeds. Most news sites have RSS feeds and they're different for each of the categories that they talk about. But if I typed in sports, we're gonna go to Bleacher Report. I'm gonna copy this URL. Let's paste it into my browser and I can see all of the latest sports news. If I click preview, just to get a better visual, this Cristiano Ronaldo article was released 35 minutes ago. Deion Sanders was 43 minutes ago. NFL issues 45 minutes ago. Week 12 fantasy football 58 minutes ago. You can see this is updating much quicker. I prefer using RSS feeds for this feature, but I'm giving you the option for Google News as well. Okay, I'm gonna paste in the Bleacher Report feed. For content scheduling, I'm gonna keep it at once every hour. And now we have the agent prompt. The agent prompt are top level instructions describing what the agent is supposed to do and how it should generally behave and respond. It's a max of 1000 characters and I'm telling you the data that is included. So we're including the news title and the details of the article. Think of this as a system prompt and it's going to depend on the type of breaking news bot that you decide to run. I give you a default prompt here for both Twitter and LinkedIn connections. This is the default one for Twitter. Let's change it a bit. You are a breaking sports news bot, creating concise tweets from a news title and details. Combine them into a clear, engaging message, focusing only on the provided information. Avoid repetition, speculation, hashtags, or emojis. Let's click Start Agent. It will take you to the Workflows page. I can see this is the hourly news agent. I can click to edit it. I see the newest tweet. Remember that story was about Cristiano Ronaldo. We'll look into this in a second, but I can change my news source, the posting frequency, update the prompt. Let's take a look at this tweet and look at this. It already has 13 views. Cristiano Ronaldo's collaboration with Mr. Beast has taken the internet by storm, racking up an impressive 4 million views in just over three hours. Ronaldo's star power remains strong, proving he transcends leagues. This is an accurate AI summary of the news article's content, and it's posted directly to my Twitter profile in the form of breaking news. Let's go through one more use case. I'm going to click on hourly news. This time I'm going to select the LinkedIn profile, and we're going to try the Google News source. So let's go stock market. I also want to post every hour. For the visibility, I'm going to select public. If I were to select connections, only my connections would get notified. 
but let's keep it on public. For the agent prompt, I'm gonna keep it at the default, but I'm going to change this for stock market breaking news bot. And I wanna add keep it short and succinct. Okay, let's click start agent. In the back end, our agent is scraping the Google News results. It's grabbing all of them and it's storing it for later use. I'm gonna click to edit. Here we go, here's the latest news results. Let's click on link. It takes me to my LinkedIn profile. Here's the latest post. And it's talking about the Philippine peso and how it has reached a two year low. If you want to create a breaking news bot for yourself, I'll leave a link to your AI agent in the description below. If you want to build your own AI agents and then turn them into a profitable web app, you should check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.